Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you a more advanced feature of the animation player. There's lots of tutorials out there, but I'm going to focus on calling code from the animation player. I'm also going to show you how to set up your own custom Vizier curves. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So we're going to get straight into it. For this, um, I'm not going to do any codes. There's code behind the scenes, but it's just I want to show you the animation player. So what I've got here is a project I've made. We've got a little saw um, asset. It's got an animation player on it, and we've got a bullet which the saw will be shooting. How we're going to shoot this bullet is by controlling in the, in the animation player. So this is where it's a little bit different. So what we're going to do is set up like a little small animation for the bullet, just to so so you we do the basics first. So what we're going to do, go is that if you imagine you want to attach an animation player to your uh, to your um, object, click animation, go new, and we'll just call this bullet. And then let's say that's fine. What we want to do is click this. So th anytime we press play, it will automatically run the animation that's in here. This is so it's repeating. And this is how the length of the animation you want to have. So I'm all right with it being one second. It might be a little bit too slow, but we'll see. So you can see we've got some animation sp um, sprites here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to go to a, a property track. We want to change the sprite, so make sure you click the sprite. And now you can got all these options that you could change in the animation. So we just want to change the actual texture. So put the texture on, and when you right click, insert key, you can see here we've got the texture. So we want that at zero. Let's do it again because we've got four textures: insert key, insert key, insert key. Let's just put them how we want them. That's about even. So what I'm going to do is go to this one, drag over to here, go to this one, drag this over here, and the very last one here. Now when you see a line like this, it means there's a duplicate. So this isn't zero, so let's make sure this is zero, and then it get, goes away. So now if we press play, we can actually run the animation in the editor. You don't have to worry about having to play the game to see the animation. As you can see, it is a little bit slow, that's fine. I'm just going to change this to 0 0.5. And what we're going to do is we're just going to move these a little bit closer. You can press Control and use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out of this bar. That's fine for me. And you see, it's an awful animation, it's just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to save that, that's fine. Now, I'm going to show you the code, what we've got, so you understand what's going on. So we're going to move to the script. All that's happening here is we've got an angle here, and I'm saying, hey, move towards the angle. And how I'll do that is I'll instigate this, uh, this projectile and set its angle, and it'll automatically handle the rest for me. We're going to go into the saw. So the saw calls the bullet. It loads uh, the sprite, so we want to put the bullet at the sprite's location, and then we can see we've got a function here called shoot with one parameter. I've purposely used a parameter so we can see how we put them into the animations. So I'm not going to call this in from a key press or anything like that. I'm actually going to call it from the animation player. So what we want to do is we want to go to saw, we want to go to our 2D screen, and we want to go to the animation player. Um, Let's call this one saw any. And then we're gonna do something a bit different here. We're gonna go, go to call method track. So a method is like a procedure. So that's a, a funk is a method a method. So let's call this. And we know that the script is on saw, so we make sure you click saw or whatever yours would be called. Now you'll see, oh there's nothing in there. Now to right click it insert the key and it'll say hey which do you want to put in there we, now there's loads you could pick from but I know there's one called shoot and that's the one I want to use and you'll see here we've got a null and the reason I use parameters is to show you how to get past this so if you click on this you'll see here it's just changed you'll see it says shoot and it's got one arg argument when I open that and you'll see I'm using an int and then let's say 90, I believe that's up or down, uh, we'll see in a second. So I know now that when this runs past, once it touches shoot, it will fire a bullet, 
and it'll go towards uh, 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do is make sure this is automatically loaded and it's uh, repeating. I want to go back to my main. Oops, save that. Go back to the main and let's play it. Let's just make sure it's working. And as you can see, it's shooting. That doesn't look like 90 degrees to me. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that, but as you can see, it is actually shooting. So let's make some, um, some like a, a more complicated moving, because at the moment, if you say move left to right, it's really linear. I can show you how you can really add a lot of control to it. So I want to rotate this. So I'm going to go back to animation, and I'm going to say, hey, I want a new property track. And we're going to say, I want to rotate the sprite. And we're going to say rotate. Degrees. And then I'm going to just go insert a key. And we know this is at zero, is a value. And I want to put a key here right at one. Make sure it's at one. And then I'm going to say free. Uh, let's just make sure that is working. And as you can see, it's rotating, which is exactly what I wanted to do. I'm just going to save. So that's great. Now I want to add a busy air curve. I hope I'm saying that right. So I want to make it go left and right, but not like linear. I want it to feel more smooth. So to do that, we want to go to add a track. This is where it's different. We want to go to Bezier curve. Click that, and I want to say sprite again. I'm going to go and change its position. You can see it's added these tracks here. We've got one here, and you can see the difference between this and the standard linear is here you can, oops. Yeah, you've got this, oops, I clicked that, sorry about that. So you've got these two icons here that say it's a busier curve, so this is where we can really control it. So firstly, let's put in some tracks. So I'm gonna say, insert a key here. I'm going to say your value should say just 10. And I want to put a key here. And I can just say, oh, uh, 90. I mean, they shouldn't move too fast. Oh, actually, let's do another key and let's put it back to zero again. Or oh, 10 even. And as you can see, it's quite linear, right? It's like this. So I'm going to click here, and this is where you you have more control. So let's zoom in a bit, and you can see if you handle these, um, I don't know what you call these handles, I'll just call them handles, and you can see it kind of changes how the animation works. So we move this up, the animation will go quicker and more out. But you can really play with this to get like lots of different effects. So just um, for like the last thing is I'm gonna extend this because it's just not enough time to work with through this. Go for five seconds. And what would be really cool? Let's move that to five. Let's move this to two point five. And the rotation should be really slow now, which is fine. I, I don't mind that. And then I'm going to add in another key. Oops, no, I'm not. I'm going to duplicate. It's just quicker. So if you press Control D, you see it's just duplicated one here. Press Control, Control D again. Control D again. And let's do it like this. So we go down to our arguments, change this to 180. Say 270, 360, which is at zero, so we really need to change that one. Now, if we play this, it should move slow and should be firing bullets. Let's say, go to the main, let's press play. And as you can see, so just from this really quick tutorial, 10 minutes, I believe, um, you can see that the power this has. Now, everything is you could everything's editable so we can go back to the, the animation sprite and literally you can see like all these keys like 
my what it is it's like everything's edible so you can edible editable so yeah you could just you could change the material you could put a shade on it at say three seconds you could you could basically do it like a whole movie in this without having any code which is quite crazy so yeah thanks for stopping by and i hope this has helped someone if you need to animation play it can be a bit daunting if you've got any more questions let me know i'll go further into it if there's some things i've probably missed well i know i have missed but i'm just trying to do the more advanced features at the moment thanks for stopping by take care Bye -bye.